everything seems to be in working order. All right, so welcome to Monza for the Italian Grand Prix, the fastest fastest track on the Formula One calendar. So I qualified 12th for this race. Had a really good car. Car felt excellent. Just lots of speed in this thing, which is what I want. See, it's see, I got 13 laps around this legendary circuit. It's gonna be fun. I'm just gotta be careful going into Variante Retifilio though, because. So everybody's going to try jamming on the brakes. Okay. It's time for the Italian Grand Prix once again, here at the beloved and iconic Autodromo Nazionale di Monza. With the lowest downforce and drag of any circuit in the season, expect to see drivers making the most of the slipstream effect here today. With top speeds reaching 215 miles per hour, only a few places can challenge Monza's crown as the fastest circuit in F1. Hard braking zones going into the three chicanes make up the majority of the 11 corners on this 3.6 mile circuit. And just in case the slipstream wasn't enough, two DRS zones will help encourage some closer action. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box. And it's fantastic to have you with us here today. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the run down into turn one. It's all a bit like going into battle. And the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Sergio Perez will lead us away from pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Norris, Daniel Ricciardo, and Gasly, Bottas, Vettel, Sonoda, and Charles Leclerc. Sainz, Bird, Esteban Ocon, and Russell. Stroll, Giovinazzi, Louis Delatraz, and Nicholas Latifi. Mick Schumacher, Mazepin, Raikkonen, they've taken a grid penalty, and Guan Yu Zhou. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out. Then let's see who can prevail today. Yeah, this should work out good, I think. But I probably may want to consider stopping a lap earlier, probably. So, I was thinking maybe of stopping a lap earlier, especially when the tires start to get worn out. But, yeah, uh, yeah I was thinking about stopping a lap earlier. But I'll just go with what I'll just go with what they what they say, so Alright. I just wanna make sure that it's picked. Alright. Let's lights out and away we go in Italy. George Russell's gonna get pitched out onto the grass. Trying to stay off of everybody. And they're not giving me any room, and I knew Seb was gonna try running me off the road there. I know Leclerc is then gonna try defending feverishly. Try to be careful not to hit Yuki.
top ten now. Keep it up. Trying to stay within DRS range of Seb. DRS is being enabled this lap. We can use DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. curb they really need to take out those sausage curbs those things are really annoying plus it sends the cars flying through the air hopefully they get rid of them soon because those sausage curbs are really a pain and they cause a lot of accidents that's for sure Cleared step. Good. Good job. Nice overtake. All right, got around him. Let's see if I can reel in those cars in front of me. It's gonna be hard doing that it's without the without the slipstream to help. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. No. Confirmed. Definitely don't want to be on these softs too long because it's gonna hurt my hurt my pace in the long haul. Definitely want to try to get on. Definitely want to get on the mediums sooner, so then that way I am not on these softs for too long, because then the pace is gonna be way too slow. Approaching the pit window, you'll be on the mediums.
And DRS just had to pick the wrong time to break on me. DRS will be offline. There's a fault with the rear wing system. Stay out. We can work on a fix remotely. Beginning to pull away. That's obvious because Valtteri is in the draft. You're increasing the gap on the car behind by five tenths per lap. It's like it's so obvious why Valtteri's pulling away because he's in a train of cars, which is giving him the slipstream, the draft. You know. How could you not see that, Jeff? It's so obvious. It's gonna be kind of. I know it's gonna be a challenge keeping Carlos behind me. So I know that Ferrari's a better car than my car is. And I'm just really wrangling, wrangling the neck out of this car to try to stay ahead. Yeah, these tires are about nearly shot. We're gonna box this lap, push hard on the in lap. Up at the uh, yeah. to really get on the brakes there. That pit that uh, pit lane speed limiter sign comes at you in a blink. Yeah, in the blink of an eye, it comes right at you. Good stop, guys. Stop. No more scheduled Carlos, that's good. You've taken 13th place, P13.
have five laps of fuel remaining. Our gap behind is 2.5 seconds. Louis in the pits. Yep, and no Ricardo's coming in now. Pierre, you just didn't couldn't just back out of just back out of it and let me go. Gap to car in front is three point six seconds. Goodness, <laughs> really pushing this car hard, pushing the car hard, you know. I'm trying to do that to stay ahead of Gasly, so then that way I can stay here and stay in sixth. Continue to match the team's best result. of fuel left. I know Pierre is going to get around me, but, but you know what the good thing is? But you know what the really good thing is? I'm in DRS. I can actually 
get back around him with the, with the RS. So this is your final lap, final lap of the race. It seems like old Pierre made a big error. Sideways in the corner. But again, that's what the fans get their money's worth to see is hard racing. So, I know Pierre is then going to probably be running using up his battery trying to get around me. get on the battery in order to defend. It's like I'll hold him off for P6. All right, race over. Take care of the car on the way in. was a magnificent race and a drive right out of the top draw to take the win for Red Bull today. Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today. What set them apart from the rest? I'd say it was down once again to good, consistent driving. Nailing the corners, working to the track conditions and perfecting the team's strategies. They got all of these things right today and the results speak for themselves. Here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently. It's clear to see that they've put in the work and they should be proud of the victory they secured here. And now let's take a look at the driver's standings. Well, the gap at the top of the championship has been cut down after a difficult race today for our championship leader. Some amazing talent out on the track today. But Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? I have to give it to Bird. They did a great job at getting the most out of their tires without losing pace, something that's a very handy skill to have in modern day Formula One. Let's move on to the constructors. Red Bull pulled further ahead in the standings. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. I believe I'll finish way down in 18th. That's a bummer. But I know he'll get better. I know that for Great sure. Great work out there today. Let's have your thoughts. Did you struggle to get through all that traffic today? Nope. You really looked in control of your car out there. Your team must be thrilled. How do you think your rival feels about today? Uh... Great. Well, that's everything. I know I'm continuing to make Louis much faster. I know that for sure. Problem is, with the uh, limited income, it's hard to get the resources I need to upgrade each department. So if you're wondering, I have the force feedback on this thing set to the max. I have it at 150 for for response, 100 for everything else. So when I'm driving the car, it's like wrestling a bear. So I know some people aren't really fans of having the force feedback, but it really adds a lot of immersion. And plus, it kind of makes you a better driver when you have the force feedback at maximum. So it's always good to have... So it's always good to have um, 
Oh, his resources to help. Now I'm going to want to save my resources because I got a mail that says the regulation changes for season three are coming. So next next race is um, I remember it's uh, Russia. Yeah, Russia. I need a decent powertrain because even though the Salchi Autodrome is a really boring track, you know, you do need enough power to get around this track. All right. So yeah, I definitely will want to do an upgrade. Yeah, and the simulator I don't have enough money for. Okay, let's go ahead and advance the clock. I know we were expecting some new developments to come through, but some of them have failed quality control. We'll need to tell the team what to redevelop via the R&D screen. We need your input here. It's not an easy choice, I know. Time to chat about work rates. Plus, well, we're doing extremely well hitting all our targets and increasing rates of stress and burnout among our staff. They all wanted to see us do well unless hitting our deadlines are good. We don't want to risk a sudden decline in performance. The overworked staff. Small circuit breaker. Yeah. Thanks for dealing with that. The department appreciates it. Okay. And either way, let's go ahead and fix that. Yeah, the lightweight rims. Let's just go ahead and redo that a while. But luckily, it won't cost anything, so. Thankfully, though, it won't cost a single. I was thinking of upgrading the um, arrow of the car, but I don't know. I mean, I don't know what's going to be coming next, though, in terms of in terms of. Um, right. But either way, let's just go ahead and continue advancing the the time. Good. All right. So in the next episode, it'll be the Russian Grand Prix at the Selchi Autodrome. So I'll see you guys then. Bye.